I thought overall we performed well on offense Saturday. We just didn't finish a couple drives we should have. Um, that, that's partly on me. I got to make sure we're in the right stuff um, and the right play calls. Um, you're supposed to have more points than what we had if you have 600 plus yards of offense. And so we're going to go to work making sure we're going to finish drives this week and clean those things up. I say the number one thing we could improve on is execution because, you know, we caught a couple plays that didn't really work out for us. And I say uh, starting fast because we started very slow. You know, you can see uh, from games, previous games before, you know, we went out and probably scored on the first, t like the first drive, and, you know, we lacked that the last game. Um, they always celebrate our wins. Um, coaches, they let us know that it's, it's tough to win. So whenever we do win, we don't want to let our highs get too high, but we don't want to let our lows get too low either. We should, it shouldn't have been that close, but we did come away with the win. You know, there's always good and bad. You know, there's key things that we were focused on today during practice between tackling, um, you know, and just focusing on our techniques to, um, you know, get better because there's always room for improvement. In this conference, I said it a bunch, you have to be at your best to beat everybody, and I think if you're not, anybody in this league can get you. Um, we need to prepare well and um, put our players in good positions to go out and be them and make plays. Uh, I, I think they're a lot better team than they were a year ago when we played them and it looks like they're getting better all the time. We have to trust everyone on, on both sides of the ball and special teams as well to know that we can't give up and if we want to win, we got to do things that we're not um, comfortable doing. So well, we're doing a great job here and we're looking forward to going into the UConn game. We hope that you know UConn and USF, maybe we can get a sold out crowd. That'd be great. I mean, the more fans, the better. We feed off the crowd, we feed off the fans. We hear them when they're chanting UCF and yelling during on that, when they're on that offense, we hear that. You know, that really gets us going and gives us energy because, you know, sometimes, let's say something happens, we need that energy, we need to feed off that. And that helps us maybe create a big play or something. So the fans definitely help us out and they're a big, big uh, thing in the game. So we need them to come out, support us, it'll be great. I see Orlando rallying behind our football team and rightfully so, these guys deserve to have people supporting them. Uh, it's a fun team to watch and uh, I see the support uh, building. I see it, the groundswell that's, that's starting to happen around town. I think this community is starting to embrace this football team. Uh, it's not going to happen overnight, but it, it's going to be a process. But th this city really has a team that they should be proud of and get behind. Um, and I expect, I expect the crowds to keep on growing.